you are watching Access LaPorte County, Channel 97. Coming up next is the December 30th, 2022 meeting of the LaPorte County Election Board. You can find more information for this meeting by visiting www.accesslaportecounty.org. Today is Friday. December 30th, 2022, it is 12.03. I'm gonna call the meeting of the LaPorte County Election Board to order. Um, if we could, I will start with roll call. Chuck Watterson, president here. Uh, Jim McCalka, um, is he vice president yet? Jim McCalka, the new Democratic appointee. Here. Okay, Heather Stevens, clerk and secretary. Here. If we could please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Just as you all for which stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hear me off there. I'm sorry. Silence. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, I'm going to start by uh, introducing Jim McCalka because you're used to seeing Nelson Pichardo over here. So Jim is um, a local attorney in Laporte. I'll allow you to give an introduction, but I'm just going to introduce what you're here for. He's the Democratic appointee replacing Nelson. Um, obviously, there's there'll be an election of officers at some point in 2022. Um, this is also my last meeting um, in my position, but I'm still here for now until next week. Um, so, Jim, if you want to introduce yourself, just give a little yep. spiel. Put your mic on, though. Jim McCalka, um, born and raised here, local attorney for 30 years, and uh, look forward to working with the board. Beautiful introduction. Um, we're going to start with public comment. Rodney, okay. <laughs> Rodney McCormick, 617 Union Street, Michigan City. Just want to make sure that we're on top of this voting, um, getting voting out of the schools. We have promise after promise after promise. Now it's time to keep a promise. We got uh, the people of this county spoken. We want to change all across the board. So now we want to change to be official. Let's get this um, polling places wrapped up. Um, let's get voting back down to the King Center. And then these places that we use, paying them $50 is, is not even, should not even be considered. Um, using somebody's um, facility all day, at the very minimum, it should be at least 100 to $200 to use someone, else, someone else's facility. Um, we can't use a city facility for, uh, at that price. Shouldn't happen. And um, whatever we do with the inspections or the people that will oversee the, the polling places. Um, Don Briggs was a real thorn in everybody's behind over at Elston. I don't know what, um, I don't know what, what um, precinct that is. But he uh, comes outside telling our, our workers and myself that we can't say vote for the individual. Um, you, 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 um, he didn't like that. He was trying to make us say Democrats, Democrats, Democrats. He's, um, he needs to be inside the building worrying about what's inside the building. We have the sheriff department if there's a problem on the outside, but to come outside and try to tell somebody how to exercise their First Amendment right is wrong. And I won't tolerate it no more. I won't put up with it no more. And um, congratulations, Mr. Waters. Um, hope you do a good job over there at the prosecutor's office. Thank you. Um, I have my concerns, but I, I hope everything works out. Um, and just congratulations to everybody. And I hope this, um, to come over and see you because I am running for the first ward in Michigan City, and I need paperwork today. Thank you. Thank you, Ronnie. Anyone else public comment? We're not on Zoom, so all right. Public comment is closed. We're going to move on. There's no old business. So we're going to move on to new business, um, which is adopting a resolution to locate the polls for a precinct at the polls of an adjoining precinct using the precinct election board of the adjoining precinct for 2023. That's a lot of precincts. Do you want me to say what that please, means? Please, okay. please do it. So what this means is basically the same thing that we've been doing for years. Um, and Mr. McCormick, before you come back up here and yell at me, this is just for legal purposes. I am working toward vote centers. I'm, I'm working. Um, but just in case there is some kind of a delay, um, we need to make sure that that our voting can happen the way it has. So we just wanted to really kind of kind of meet real quick and get the formalities put put on the record. So what what these mean is that 
I know at the Civic Auditorium, I believe five different precincts vote there. And this is what's giving us, that. this is what allows us to do that. And that resolution expires tomorrow night. So we wanted to make sure that we kept it going. So is there a motion that, do um, you want to put a motion on the table to renew um, that resolution? I will make that motion. Okay, I have a motion and do we have a second? Second. Okay, I have a motion and a second. Any discussion on this? No? No? All right, so all in favor? Aye. Aye. So that passes, that'll be, uh, that resolution will be renewed for the purposes of the 2023 election cycle. Now, does that carry over to 2024? No, this needs to be done every year. Every year. Okay, so for the purposes of 2023 uh, municipal elections, that is, that motion passes. Uh, next, we have an, adopting a resolution to allow an inspector to serve more than one precinct at a shared polling location. Um, so that's just essentially like those precincts with multiple, or those buildings with multiple precincts in them to have one inspector. Yes. Okay. Do you have a motion for that? I do have a motion for that, but the, the motion is also going to include, um, I'm looking for, I would like to go to the council and to the commissioners, because I think that if that inspector and those poll workers are handling multiple precincts, I, need, I think that we need to adjust their pay. Um, and I also would like to adjust the pay for the facility rental. As Mr. McCormick was, was stating, you know, 50 bucks, 75 bucks for an entire day is pretty low. So the fewer, and, and I think, you know, as we've combined the polling locations, we haven't increased the, the rental fees. So. Sure, so theoretically with voting centers, we're, we're gonna have less facilities so we can spread that money around to get to give more money to these places with multiple okay exactly so um i think we should handle this with probably two motions okay uh so the first motion on the table i'll make the motion that we adopt the resolution allowing an inspector to serve more than one precinct at the shared polling location for 2023 and again this would be renewing that correct yes okay so i'll make that motion do i have a second second um that motion and a second any discussion on this no 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 all right all in favor aye aye, aye. Um, all opposed? Okay, motion carries. Uh, second, or th I'm sorry, third motion we discussed today would be allowing Heather to approach the commission and the council to um, adjust pay for these precinct workers and, and facility rental. Um, do we need to approach them with that, or does that, that money come out of the budget that's already allocated? I would like to approach them with that just so, A, for transparency, B, so that when when we do things like this, we're not getting any pushback from say the auditor's office because you know they're they're watching how we're supposed to be paying so if if we're doing things differently then they question that and it delays getting things paid okay so just so that it, it's it's known across the board and everybody knows what's supposed to be going on all right so i move to allow uh, heather to approach the commissioners and council as far as uh, discussing issues of pay for precinct workers and facility rental um, do i have a second second Motion in a second. Uh, I believe we already had the discussion, but any other discussion points? No. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? All right. Ayes have it. Motion carries to allow Heather to approach the commissioners and council. Uh, lastly, we have support for Heather to approach the commissioners and council to move forward with implementing vote center plan for LaPorte County and to begin planning of scheduled public meeting pending their approval. So to discuss this a little bit, the, the plan of moving to vote centers is, is in in motion, but the, there's a lot of public meeting requirements when it comes to, um, you know, changing where people are going to vote or where they can vote. So we have to meet those basically by or by statute. Um, and then as far as the process goes, I'm assuming you're working with Stark and um, other people to find out how they implemented everything. Yes. Okay. Um, so I'll make a motion that we allow. Uh, Heather to approach commissioners and council to move forward with implementing that plan because with that plan I'm sure there's also going to be money that needs to be allocated for this. Um, the equipment is obviously going to all be there but um, so my motion is to allow Heather to approach the council and commissioners about the voting center plan. Um, any, dis or any second? I'll second. Okay. Motion and a second. Any discussion? No. No. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, all opposed? All right, ayes have it. That motion uh, carries. So Heather will be able to approach the commissioners and council. It looks like you're going to be busy with the commissioners and council for a, a little while. Um, so that's the close of new business. We'll move on to board member comments. Uh, we can start with Heather. 
A um, couple of things that just some quick announcements that I wanted to make. Um, Wednesday, January 4th, filing for the municipal elections begins. That is your cities, your towns, your your town councils, clerk, treasurers, all that good stuff. So that starts on Wednesday. January 18th at noon, the 2022 annual campaign finance reports are due. So if you ran last year, if you still have an open committee from from before, you need to make sure that you file your report with the clerk's office by noon. Um, a little bit of, of confusion, uh, even when I took office, everyone thought that, okay, now the inspectors are Republican. No, it goes by the Secretary of State's votes. Um, and Diego Morales, our new Secretary of State, actually won Laporte County. Um, so now the Republican, we will have Republican inspectors. So just so everyone's aware there. Um, we have a new elections deputy. There's a lot of new right now. <laughs> um, a new elections deputy in the clerk's office. Her name is Caitlin Sanders. And I, you guys will all be meeting with, you guys, everyone's going to meet Caitlin. She's, she's a bundle of energy. Um, and she seems to have an interest in elections. So I think she's going to do a great job. Um, Adam Caranco was caucused by the Republican Party to fill the seat on the county council that will be left open when Connie Gramarosa moves to the commissioner's office next week. Um, Lisa Rosencrantz has been appointed by the Republican Party chairman to fill the seat on the La Crosse Town Council that newly elected County Councilman Justin Keel will leave when he takes his, his new seat. Um, and Angela Hensman was caucused in by the Democrat Party as a new Democratic Party chairwoman to replace Dr. Cora. Um, I did check with her before swearing Jim in and, and got the blessing from her, and I, I have all of that to, to put into our binder so that there's no question. All right. Um, I, I did receive a copy of, of your resignation, and I do have a new appointment by Mr. Stevens. Do you want to announce that? Do you want to announce that? Sure, I do. <laughs> um, do you have any comments? No, only that... Uh... My name is spelled incorrectly on the agenda, though. I'll fix it. Yeah, it's M-A-C-A-L-K-A. -A. Yeah, I've been dealing with one T in my last name. <laughs> <laughs> well, they'll get it fixed. Trust but that's me. it. Thank you. <laughs> um, lastly, I just wanted to welcome Jim aboard. I've known Jim since I've been an attorney since before. Uh, we were somehow related back in the day. I used to see him at family reunion, so I've known Jim for quite some time. Uh, he's a great guy. He's going he's gonna to fill in. Uh, Nelson and I had a great relationship working together. Um, and I think you can step in and you know add some uh, a breath of fresh air to this board because um, it, it does it does kind of take a toll when you're working with things especially as contentious as the last few elections have been. Um, and yes, I did submit my resignation due to my new position. I just didn't feel like it should. Uh, I didn't feel like I'd have the time necessary to devote to this and that. So I think it's only fair to Laporte County for me to step down, and there will be a new appointee, Brody Schaffner will be taking my spot and he's in the back row right now. Um, so he will be coming aboard, he'll be sworn in after this meeting. Um, so he'll be at the next meeting when we discuss uh, probably vote centers and election of officers, all that good stuff. And again, I'm always available to help with um, to help with any issues you, you two may have. You know, use me as a, a fountain of whatever knowledge I have in, in regard to this. Um, but I just wanna thank everyone for the past few years that I've been on the board. Uh, it's been it's been real nice to see like the inner workings of the election. Election day has always been fun. I mean, we pull our hair out five times during election day, um, but the weeks leading up to it are always interesting. So I thank everyone for their support, um, and hopefully I did a good job, and we can continue with this board doing a good job for Laporte County. So with that, do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All right. Motion and a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 We are adjourned. <laughs>